Welcome to another my tutorial. Uh, today it will be on uh, forward contract valuation and FRA contract valuation. Uh, the motivation behind this video is that usually uh, most of the textbooks uh, show you uh, quite a complicated way how to um, val how to uh, value a forward contract, but uh, my in my video I'll show you. A simplified way much more um, easier and uh, logical way how you can do that so firstly let me illustrate uh, how it is mostly explained in textbooks so let me start with an, with an example uh, let me copy this exam this example right here so that we have it uh, here okay and uh, uh, the task is as follows we have some forward contract uh, EUR versus USD and it has been already entered into uh, the contractual price which is also called strike is one 1.3 dollars uh, per euro and we are going to sell uh, 1 million euros uh, the current current affix rate uh, is 1.35 dollars per euro um, the question is what is the value of the contract if it matures in nine months uh, from now and the current interest rates are as follows uh, well what what you usually uh, get from your textbooks is the following let me copy this in here and what this formula say uh, is basically following we have a currency pair we determine uh, the current forward uh, forward price mm that would apply to this currency pair taking into account risk free rates on the on that currencies and uh, also the maturity and then we compare uh, the the current forward price with the uh, with the strike this is the strike of our contract and we discount it back uh, back to now okay so this is the basic idea on forward contract valuation so we have currency pair EUR USD okay the current spot price denoted as S is uh, 1.35 and that means USD per euro okay then we have some contractual price which is 1.3 dollars per euro and the amount is minus 1 million euros because we are selling euros okay Uh, the maturity of the contract is nine months so in years it's 0 0.75 and interest rates on euro is 0 0.02 interest rate on dollar is 0 0.005 okay per annum and uh, now we are going to stick with this formula here so if we have currency pair like this we just follow the steps we firstly calculate the forward price the current forward price that would um, be applied if we wanted to set up the same contract right now so the current forward price would be the spot price times exponential 
so R2 in our case is USD interest rate minus Euro interest rate times the maturity in years uh, intuitively if USD uh, if there is a lower interest rate on USD the USD must appreciate on forward that means that uh, this number has to be lower that the, the, the forward um, price will be lower than this spot price okay and that's exactly what we are getting here so it's the forward price if the contract uh, were uh, negotiated today so we have this, the forward price and uh, then we easily get uh, the value of the contract so we just compare the forward price with the strike price and we discount it with the USD rate and take also into account the maturity of the contract okay so this is the value of the contract and it, it is expressed as USD per euro so uh, value on the whole notional is the value of one USD per euro times uh, the number of euros okay and this is in dollars so basically um, the value is negative so we will mostly most likely be losing some money so this is the this is the standard approach you will be illustrated in all the textbooks all and all again uh, but what I suggest is to use a uh, slightly more um, intuitive approach okay the basic idea of the approach I'm applying is to well uh, it's, it's more like a cash flow approach because we're just comparing what we are getting in the future and we we just somehow transform it um, back to today and so uh, we we compare how much we we pay and how much we receive in current terms okay so mm, let me let me uh, show you uh, so uh, we just determined the future cash flow cash flows we pay and how much do we pay well if we are selling it's clear that we pay these uh, 1 million euros we pay at T and on the other hand we also receive something we receive so how much do we receive well we receive uh, negative of this because we receive so it's plus times uh, the strike price okay let me just copy the format here and this is in terms of USD okay so I think it's quite clear from the contractual price here and from the amount that we will pay for sure uh, 1 million euros and um, contrary we receive uh, 1.3 million dollars okay and this is what will happen in the future and if you want to uh, transform these numbers to now we have to discount them so present value is this number discounted back I'm using continuous discounting so we just apply logically interest rate on euros and the maturity okay and again we have this in euros
and likewise here we discount this number back to today and multiply by exponential of minus the risk free rate on USD times the maturity. Okay. So these are the these numbers represent the future cash flow discounted to today. Uh, here we can see that this one is in USD and this one is in Euros. So if we want to um, convert this number to USD so that we have both in denoted in USD, uh, it's easy to see that it's just this number times the current uh, the current affix rate. Notice that we can easily do that because this is in present value, so we can use the current affix rate to convert euros into USD. And uh, if we copy this format, we have a nice looking number. And what we do, what is the value of the contract, is that we compare what we receive with uh, what we pay, so total we we receive this and we pay this and because all of them because both numbers are in USD we just know that the total value is also in USD and we have uh, a, we have uh, got the very same number as in the as when we were using the first approach but in in my opinion, this one is much more intuitive because you don't need to think uh, which risk rate is the first, which one is the second, and uh, how to set up these formulas because the the logic is very simple. You just check what you receive in the future, you discount it back, and then you convert these two legs, this uh, this uh, payment leg and the receiving leg. Uh, into one currency and then compare the values of these legs okay so i i hope you got the main idea and uh, that it will help you to simplify some computations thank you for watching my video and don't forget to visit my channel again